Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video first, we're gonna talk about Big Ramy a little bit. So I got some interesting news about Big Ramy, and it's not this that you're seeing here. Uh, so you probably saw this already, a Pies and Tries page posted this. Uh, basically, Big Ramy in some interview, in some podcast, in Arabic language, said that his plan is to retire at 38 years of age, which means... The last Mr. Olympia he would ever do would be this year's 2022 Mr. Olympia and that would be it for his career. Now, I don't speak Arabic, I don't know if he really said that or not. If you guys speak it and you watch this interview, you tell me if he really said that. But if he really did, I mean, that, that would be really stupid because he missed Pittsburgh for guest posing. So, Jim Mannion probably doesn't like him very much now. So if there are politics, if Jim Mannion can actually influence the judges, their decision on who is going to win the Mr. Olympia, I don't know if that is really how it works, my opinion doesn't really matter, what I'm trying to say here is if, if there is that, him saying that he won't compete next year would definitely not help his case, no. So if he really said this, it wasn't very wise. Again, I don't speak Arabic, I don't know if he really said that, but... There is this new video on YouTube posted by Dennis James, actually by Rap1, and Dennis James is in it, he's training Team Budesheim, and it's in German, so I don't speak German either. I speak a little bit of it, but not really, I didn't understand what they were talking about, but one of my followers DM'd me the translation of what Dennis actually had to say when Team Budesheim asked him what is going on with Big Grammy, is this true that he is retiring? So what Dennis had to say is that it is actually false, it's just a rumor and it's completely not true. He said that uh, he talked to Big Rabbi multiple times, uh, they spoke like a week after that Pittsburgh Pro and uh, Rami had a serious issue. He was already packed, he was ready to travel to the US, but at the last minute he was not able to travel. What is the actual reason for him not being able to travel is something Dennis wouldn't go into. He says that Big Ramy should talk about that if he wants to, because it is something private. Dennis also says that those photos of Big Ramy prior to Pittsburgh Pro are actually from that date. They are in fact not older photos. He was actually in shape. He was actually getting ready to guest pose, but something happened and he had to cancel in the last moment. And between that time and the time he made a video, he was so stressed about what happened that he wasn't training or eating much. And that's why he lost size and looked that much smaller in that apology video. And that's about what Dennis had to say about Big Ramy situation. So the main thing is that the retirement rumor is just a rumor. Apparently, based on Dennis, Big Ramy is not really gonna retire. And also that Dennis knows now what actually happened and he can't say that publicly. He thinks Big Ramy should do that because apparently it is something private, something that Big Ramy doesn't feel comfortable talking about openly, publicly. Maybe he decides to share it here, maybe not. If he does, I'll post it on my channel. But I think the main point here is that uh, the rumor that he's gonna retire next year is actually false. And I'm sure in the future, in the next coming days, we're gonna find out, we're gonna hear more about this because there is a lot of rumors circling around. So I'm sure Dennis or Big Ramy are going to actually address the public and tell us what the situation really is like. Oh yeah, and if you guys are looking for a really good multivitamin, I would definitely suggest to you Vintage Base. Now, this product is not only vitamins and minerals, it also has probiotics. So it is really an amazing product, and if you want to save 12%, use the code DIVAN and click on the link in the description of this video, guys. So if you want to try this product out, if you want to support me and my channel, go ahead and give it a try. Thank you, guys. Alright, next we got some news about Lee Priest. So as you guys know, Lee Priest is doing this crazy transformation. In his recent updates, in his photos, he keeps getting better and better. And what everybody is wondering is, is he gonna come back, you know, to a bodybuilding stage? Is he gonna compete and is he gonna do the Masters Olympia? That's the real question. And now we got an answer, so let's hear it. All right, now tell me this, because I see you getting in shape here, and uh, you see, and, yeah. and it's, it looks like, uh, are you stepping back on stage? 
no, no. I, I might step on stage if I hand out an award somewhere, but that's about it. But so you're doing you know, this just just for the hell of it? Yeah, just for the yeah, just for getting in shape, you know, because I still got that little bit of muscle atrophy from the car accident and stuff. But it's one of those things. Maybe next year, if the Masters Olympia did come to and I died it down, if I look good, I might. But I don't want to be one of those people, like I've said, where you walk out on stage and everyone, your fans are excited to see you. As soon as you walk <laughs> out, they're like, eh, oh, what the? As you saw, this was on Dennis James' podcast, The Menace Podcast, and basically Lee was like, he doesn't want to make a commitment, you know, he doesn't want to do what Kevin Leveroni did. When Kevin Leveroni announced his comeback, it was really promoted everywhere, and everybody was so excited about that comeback. People were, you know, people got back into bodybuilding, the ones who weren't really following it at the time, you know, it really, it really helped the sport at that point, and everybody was excited to see Kevin, and when he stepped on the stage, everybody was really disappointed, and Lee doesn't want that to happen to him, so he doesn't want to make a commitment, but apparently, as you can see, he does, let's say, he does, he does want, he wants to get on the stage if he looks good, so he's not gonna get on that stage at any cost, if he looks good enough, impressive enough, he's going to do it, and based on what he looks like right now, I think he's actually gonna look good, so as he says, his right side atrophied a little after that car accident, not a little, quite a bit, but it's getting better, it's coming back, and so if it comes back enough that he actually looks good, that he actually looks symmetrical, that there is no really obvious glaring imbalance, he will be on the stage. I personally am optimistic and I believe this will happen, and I can see the desire for him to step back on the stage, he wants it. And it might actually be the Masters Olympia. Now, I, I don't know if Masters Olympia is really meant for retired bodybuilders. Uh, I don't think they will do that well. Masters Olympia is more for those bodybuilders who actually flourished later in their life, you know, who weren't really that good when they were younger and they didn't really push their bodies too much and they, 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 they peaked later on. There is a lot of good bodybuilders, uh, like above 45, above 50, yeah, yeah, I've seen a lot of great bodybuilders at that age, I mean, they can be compared to the uh, open guys who are in their 30s or early 40s, but I think Masters Olympia will be dominated by some completely new guys, just like Classic Physique is not really dominated by uh, downsized bodybuilders or men's physique guys who had legs, you know, maybe it was like that in the beginning, but at this point we have a lot of new faces, and I think it's going to be the same with Masters Olympia, but time will tell, would I like to see Lee Priest on that stage, for sure, to make a hell of a show, but can he win the Mr. Olympia, the Masters Olympia, or place very highly, I really don't know, I don't think so, I mean, I've seen a lot of older bodybuilders who are in the best shape of their lives, and I think they look better than Lee Priest right now, Lee Priest at his heyday, he looked absolutely insane, ridiculous, one of the most genetically gifted bodybuilders of all time, but right now, at the age of almost 50, I don't know, I don't know, we'll see though, I hope you're gonna see him on stage, and then we can tell how well, how good he looks, and how well he'll do. Well, since I mentioned downsized open bodybuilders, here is one for you, Dennis Wolf. Can Dennis Wolf compete in Classic now? Well, I think he can make the weight, but can he do really good in Classic? I don't think so. Uh, does he look good? Well, for a retired bodybuilder, sure, he does. And for somebody who lost so much size, he looks decent with this much uh, muscle lost. You know, he is still in, in he's actually in great conditioning, he's shredded all the time, because he does have that body type, in order to grow he had to eat a ton of food, and now when he's not really pushing food too much, he just gets really, really lean, and right now he's not just lean, he's shredded, and he still has quite a lot of muscle. Of course, you can't compare him to what he once used to look like, look at this freak right here, he used to look like a legit monster, I mean, he was kind of tall, like he had a really wide frame, and he packed a ton of muscle on it, and he looked really freaky, especially in the off-season, so if you compare that to what he looks like now, you will be disappointed, but if you compare this to uh, an average person who works out, you know, he looks better than most people, really, and, uh, I mean, does he have enough muscle for classic physique? Yeah, yeah, I think he could compete in classic physique, 
could he do well in a pro show in classic physique? I don't know. It's a good question. Maybe. Maybe yes. I don't know. Maybe he should consider doing this just for fun. It would be really interesting because it doesn't look like he melted. You know, he just looks smaller, and that's it. He doesn't look like he uh, lost completely, like arms or, or chest or back. It looks like he's simply downsized, but still looks good. He has no loose skin, for example. Look at his stomach; it looks very tight. Overall, he looks full. Actually, I mean, you would not imagine that a guy of that size can lose so much muscle and still manage to look full. Yeah, he's pumped up and he probably had some carbs before this. And I don't think he's on gear. I'm guessing he's natural. He's probably on TRT or something like that. So yeah, I can imagine Dennis Wolf doing classic physique and uh, I would definitely love to see that. What do you guys think? But then again, classic physique is evolving rather rapidly. And this is what it looks like today. What it's going to look like. Uh, whenever Horse MD competes. So this guy is uh, probably the biggest classic physique that we're gonna see on stage. I just don't know how much more, um, how much more muscle he actually needs to lose or, or fat or whatever, how much more weight he needs to lose to, to fit in a, in, a, in a classic physique weight cap. Because if he looks like this, if he comes this big, that's going to change some things, you know, in classic physique. I don't think we ever saw this big of a classic physique competitor. You guys know that our current Mr. Olympia champion, Chris Bumstead, also turned pro in class in open bodybuilding, sorry, just like Horse MD, and now both of these guys are doing classic, and there was a lot more room for improvement for Chris since he turned pro. I don't know if Horse MD can actually improve that much on this. I think he's going to lose some muscle before before he improves, but maybe maybe he's going to bring some crazy sick conditioning and he's going to kill everybody. But then again, maybe, just maybe, there was a couple of times when we thought some classic PC guys are going to look much more impressive on the stage and they didn't really look like they looked on their Instagram photos and videos. Maybe that's going to be the case with Horse MD. I really doubt it. But maybe, you know, on that stage, compared to the other guys, he won't actually look that much bigger or that impressive. So here in this front double bicep, as you can see here, his arms. His arms look absolutely sick, but the V-taper, it looks good, but does it look as good as Chris Bumps, for example? I wouldn't say so, no. But I don't think this guy is going to disappoint. I think this guy is going to look absolutely impressive, and I think it's going to be a really interesting uh, showing in classic physique and i can't wait to see him finally on that stage so guys tell me what do you think how is he gonna do and can he actually dethrone chris bumstead maybe not this year but someday whatever your thoughts are make sure to leave them down below in the comment section like this video if you enjoyed it and for more bodybuilding videos like this subscribe to my channel guys thank you so much for watching all the best and bye bye